Please stand for the pledge. Ready, begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Lancers. It is a cozy Monday morning, and we've got a great show planned for you guys. We're going to have ASB Kindness Club and Water Polo live on the show. Landon, what else can we expect? That's right, Channing. We're also going to have Sophia on the Magic Window to give you guys some information about how pajamas started, and then also Leo on the baseball field to tell us about what's the, going to go down with the fireworks this Friday. That sounds like a great show. Let's get it started. I'm Channing Headley. And I'm Landon Miller. And CHS TV starts, starts right, right now. now. Welcome back, Lancers. Now we're going to have Danny Valencia kick off the show with a story produced by Lucy Walker and myself. I'm Danny Valencia, and I'm the kicker slash punter on the varsity team. I played soccer my whole life, and I wanted to be on the football team. I just thought that was the best fit for me. And after 10 years of soccer, Danny discovered the many benefits of being a part of the football team. Just being on the team, I really enjoy the environment, like playing Friday nights in front of the whole entire stadium. However, aside from the Friday nights, Danny has also discovered the downside of being named the kicker. Uh, the worst part is definitely we don't get that much recognition, and we do a lot for the team, just no one really notices. We score like one seventh of the points every game. But despite the lack of recognition, Danny continues to work hard to be the best that he can. Helping me the most was obviously private training with my coach, and also my coach here at Carlsbad too. He's put in a lot of work to help us make us better. And that work is put in both inside and outside of football practices. The drills that we do during practice just between the kickers is kind of, we kind of do this thing where you go for, you try to hit the poles the whole time, kind of working on accuracy. And then when we do special teams, we work with the whole entire team and they kind of tell you where to put the ball or just to boot or something like that. Keep kicking, Danny. For CHSTV, I'm Channing Headley. Today at CHS, Varsity Girls Golf will be playing Torrey Pines at 3.30. Make sure to go out and support. The Carlsbad City Library offers free online homework help. On other web, on other web page, e-resources, apply a library card online and access this and many other databases. For the first break in the announcements, we have Juliana live in the studio with Kindness Club. Juliana, hit them with some kindness. Good morning, Carlsbad. I'm here with Kai and Issa to talk a little bit about their club. So Kai, what is Kindness Club? Kindness Club is a safe and accepting environment where you can come and feel included and then also participate in events to better the community. That's awesome. And Isa, I heard you guys have a drive starting today, so can you tell me a little bit about that? Yes, so we have a What You Can Spare, They Can Wear donation drive, and that's Clothes for Humanity Showers, which is an organization in Oceanside, and they provide mobile showers for those in need. So we're going to be having different donation drop-off areas throughout the school. We have two today, one in room 7107 and one in the counseling office, and we're going to have two more starting tomorrow. That's awesome, and can you give me some more details about how people can get involved with the club? Yeah, so you can drop off your clothing donations in room 7107 in the counseling office, as Issa mentioned, and then tomorrow we will also have bins in the science and English buildings. And then you can follow our Instagram at Kindness Club Carlsbad for more information, and then join us on our Tuesday meetings in room 7107. That's awesome. This definitely sounds like a great cause, so Carlsbad, you should get involved. Thank you, Juliana and Kindness Club. Calling all pottery lovers, CHS has started a new ceramics club that will be meeting Fridays in room 5101 at lunch. If you're interested, follow the Instagram at chs.ceramicsclub. Students, if you'd like to promote your new or existing club on CHS TV, please come by room 5105 before school or at brunch. Now we're going to toss the show over to Colton, who's live with ASB regarding Spirit Week. Colton, what you got? What's up, guys? My name is Colton Gilly here with ASB. 
to talk about this week's Spirit Week. So, what are the Spirit Days this week? So, today is Pajama Day, tomorrow is Adam Sandler Day, Wednesday is Western Wednesday, Thursday is Ride vs. Tide, and Friday is Lancer Day, so any Carlsbad Spirit Wear. Oh, yeah. Awesome. Why are we having this Spirit Week? Yeah, so Spirit Week is happening because we have a little bit, a uh, little something called Homecoming on Saturday. So, you know, it's a tr tradition every year to dress up during the week of Homecoming, you know, just kind of bring everyone together, have some fun, and really show that Carlsbad pride. Awesome. And how can we show our support? Great question. Now you can show your support by dressing up every single day during this Spirit Week. ASB put a lot of effort into making sure that we have a fun time this week. And also, you can show your support by voting for our homecoming court, our king and our queen, uh, when you buy your ticket in the finance office. So be sure to do that, Lancers, and have a great time at homecoming. All right, Lancers, make sure to dress up and vote for your homecoming king and queen to show your school spirit. Thank you, Colton and ASB. CHS Interact Club's 2022 book drive is ending today. Donation boxes can be found outside the CHS library, the main office, and inside your English classrooms. Carlsbad's Choral Department is having a donation night at Knockout Pizza tomorrow. Please come and show your support for the CHS Choir. Next, we have Leia live in the studio with water polo. Leia, splash them with some facts. Good morning, Carlsbad. I'm Leia Poteet, and I'm here with Rowan and Jake from Boys Water Polo. So, Rowan, how is this season going to be different from last year? Uh, you know, we have a new coach, so, um, I mean, he's a Carlsbad alum, so we're falling back on old traditions. Awesome. And then, Jake, I know you guys have a game tomorrow. What is the info on that? Uh, it's tomorrow at home at 5 o'clock. Awesome. And <laughs> awesome. And then how are you guys planning to prepare for that game? Uh, just practicing hard like always. Cool. Any shout-outs? Nathan Hellfire Heon. Nate Gatorna. Awesome. We'll make sure to support boys' water polo. Thank you, Leia. Needing community service hours? Join the CHS Interact Club tomorrow in, at lunch in room 2009 to clean and the book donations and make bookmarks. Want to make an impact and gain experience in local politics and government? If so, CUSD Board Trustee Ray Pearson City Council campaign is looking for interns like you. During the campaign, you'll have to contact voters and gain political and career skills. To apply, text 442-944-7063 or email raypearson for city council at gmail.com. The theater department is now presenting Clue. You can watch the play on October 27th, 28th, and 29th at 7 p.m. in the CCAC. Tickets are $10. With our big homecoming game coming up this Friday, freshman reporter Leo Nicholson is live via DeGero on our baseball field with some more information regarding the fireworks show after the game. Leo, blow us away. What is going on, Carlsbad? I'm Leo Nicholson. I'm here at the baseball field to give you guys an update on the homecoming parade and the homecoming game. So as you know, on Friday, school gets out at 1.10. This is because there's a parade in the village for homecoming. You're going to see the whole city there. Elementary school, middle school, high school. Your grandparents might even be there. It's amazing. You do not want to miss it. And it is all going to lead up to the homecoming game. Now, the homecoming game, it's going to be a dogfight between San Marcos is coming down to our home turf. We're going to play them. We're going to fight to the last the last whistle is going to be insane and at the end the lights are going to turn off after the dub and you'll see the fireworks it is going to be magical the fireworks are going to come from this baseball field shoot up in the sky so make sure to look this way once the lights turn off after the game that's all i have for you today carlsbad make sure to show up and show out thanks leo i love the sound effects and good job on your first ever to now we have Sophia on our very own magic window to give us some history on pajamas. Sophia, bundle up. Thank you, Landon. And yes, I'm going to be talking about the history of pajamas. So historians believe that pajamas originated sometime in the 17th century in India and then gained popularity in Europe in the 1800s. But mostly only royalty and adults wore them. Fun fact, onesies were created, no, not to just keep you warm, but to prevent cockroaches from biting. Disgusting. Then in the 1990s, Japan popularized the idea of cartoons and pajamas. Thank you, Japan. So Carlsbad, make sure to enjoy your day with pajamas. Now I'll send it back to the anchor. Thank you, Sophia. Open gym for boys volleyball is on Monday nights in the old gym from 7 to 9 p.m. on regular days and 6 to 8 p.m. on early release days. That's right, Landon, and we'd also like to spend a very special shout-out to Nancy and Leonard. They are a very special couple from Oceanside who watch our broadcasts regularly, and we really appreciate their support. 
Yeah, thank you, Nancy and Leonard. And uh, make sure you guys dress up for your spirit weeks this week. Anything else, Channing? Yeah, you can get your homecoming tickets the whole week um, in the student store. And then once you get those, make sure that you vote for homecoming royalty. Thank you guys for tuning in this morning and tune in tomorrow at 1018. Bye. Bye. Thank you for watching our live broadcast today. Remember that you could follow us on social media and view our past broadcasts on chstv.com. Thank you, and we'll see you next time.